Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin, and today we're taking a look at Windows 10X Emulator Build 19.578. This is the second ever emulator build of Windows 10X. I mean, it's the second time the public has been able to test the build of this OS at all. You know, before four weeks ago when the last one was released, so maybe they'll be on a four-week cadence. Before that, um, we'd only seen demos. We'd never actually been able to touch it. So, um, yeah, so a big difference with this new build is that you can actually run it on any Intel-based PC. AMD doesn't work, but any Intel-based PC that's running Windows 10 Pro and uh, has Hyper-V enabled, you can run it. Previously, you needed to be on the fast ring um, so now you don't have to take that kind of stability hit, uh, perpetual stability hit, uh, in order to, to play around with this. So that's one thing that's new, but um, it's not the, the biggest thing that's new as far as actual material. Another thing that's new, by the way, that I'm, I can't show is that in the Microsoft emulator app, you can actually check for new builds of the emulator rather than having to go through the, the website and everything. Now... Um, First thing we're gonna do here is turn on dark mode. I do want to, I do want to kind of do an overall look of the OS in case you didn't see the last video or whatever. Uh, but we will take a look at what's new as well. Um, by the way, we have the 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 new action center over here. This is um this is something that was in it was in the last build, but it, it is redesigned from Windows 10, so it's it's worth taking a look at. It's got some transparency there. Here's some stuff that's new, right? Change the background. You notice that I pulled down a uh, background. And what's great about this is that you can, in the file dialog that appears when you go to bring up a new background, you can select OneDrive. This build actually has proper OneDrive integration, which is something that we didn't have before. If you if you notice, in order to change the, the wallpaper on the build before, I had to actually go to OneDrive.com download an image, and then, of course, um, do it from local storage. So if we just go into wallpapers here, we can just pick, uh, you know, whatever we want. It's just going to put it up there. I'm just going to uh, stick with this one, but um, and then it'll, it'll add it to that selection. So speaking of OneDrive integration, we have a new file explorer, and that is probably the biggest change. That's not it. If we, if we go to show all, we'll see all the apps here. File explorer beta is what we have so here's a fun thing with um about a dual screen operating system is that we can just look at these side by side so the one that you see on the right on the right screen because this is a dual screen emulator this is that's the uwp file explorer that has been around forever okay um and I say forever i mean like we're talking windows 10 mobile days it's pretty much the same one that was on windows 10 mobile um you see, we just have icons on the left. We can, we can open that up. Uh, this does have OneDrive integration, which, again, wasn't there in the previous build, which was 19.563. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's not optimal. For, for actual productivity, I got to say, it's, it's not a great file explorer. You know, for a mobile OS, it was fine. But this isn't, technically, this isn't a mobile OS, these devices that are coming out, like the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold and the Surface Neo, they're laptop replacements, or at least they're meant to be. You know, um, especially like like Lenovo doesn't mess around with its ThinkPad X1 brand. This this is meant to have real productivity, not something that you just play games on, like Candy Crush. So that's anyway. The one on the left is the new one. Seems to start out on. on um, OneDrive for me, and then, you know, um, it's just showing files, so it has that OneDrive integration, it um, actually doesn't seem to really have anything else, um, there, there's, there's not, not a, it, it doesn't really have local storage, so, um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously the operating system isn't going to ship with two, two file explorers, you definitely don't want it to, um, well, files is some kind of a link, but um, yeah, I bet we could. Can we go dual screen with it? No, it's it's uh oh we can, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> we could go dual screen with it. That's always fun. Uh, it's not exactly optimized as you can see by the way that the text is split down the middle. Okay, but you can see now we don't have to expand the 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 menu on the left anymore. So we go new. We could create a new folder. 
yeah, this is just OneDrive. Huh. If we go to settings, yeah, there's okay, go to account and there's oh, OneDrive device ID. Um yeah, so this one, uh, you can actually access local storage, and presumably this one's going to be phased out. Even when Windows 10 Mobile was gone, this thing was, um, like, it still existed. You could put it on your PC, but it, it wasn't around, you know. Um, we we The only Win32 app that comes with the Windows 10X emulator is Notepad, right? And for some reason, these apps say installing for a second before you launch them. So... App launch initiated. So I just dragged this to the other screen while that was happening just to mess around with it. But uh, you can see. Hold on. Can we go full? Can we go full with this? We can. We can. So, yeah. So so that is something that, that we didn't have before. If you, if you notice when I launched. One, uh, sorry. I wanted to say one. Note, when I launched Notepad before um, in, the, in the previous video, it was actually windowed. It was the only thing that you could actually have as a windowed app you notice and so so that's what's new this is just behaving the same way that a windows 10 app a windows 10x app behaves which is that wait can we get it windows okay so it's not perfect yet because yeah so that was something it, it was actually like a window within a window so one thing about windows 10x is that there are no windowed apps they, they're full screen they're they could go on one screen or both screens, and that's it. So that that's that's all you get. But Notepad was windowed when when we saw it last time. But if you take a look at the store, if I can, you know, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I actually tried shooting this video several times because it never seems to want to work when I try. But you, the store is actually a pretty good example of of how things are supposed to split the screen. Uh, when, when it goes full, when it spans dual screen, and because it moves that that Master Chief Collection tile to the side, and it kind of makes room. It's not supposed to be just split down the middle, but obviously I can't demo it right now. You know, um, you know, we could pull up Edge. Edge is this is not a production build, even though it it seems to imply that it is. Um, it's it's says it's updating it's it's been saying that it's updating for quite some time and things just kind of went to hell over here all right i think this is back we can take this uh dual screen and what one thing that seems to be new with this build is that there are a lot more apps that can that can actually access that that dual screen functionality um yeah so so edge is going to be edge and this is you know, just how it works. You could go dual screen, single screen. Um, you can apparently go, um, you, you can go to the corners, which is, you know, useful, but windowed apps might also be useful. I don't know. Um, it is called Windows, and um, I feel like we've moved on from, from full screen. So, yeah, you, you, can, you can go to the corners, which is... is you know, going to be used. So, like, you could do uh, maybe maybe you want a, a web page on one side, and then you're taking notes on the other side. So you can do that if you want. So the thing is, most of the the OS is unchanged. Um, the apps are not optimized for for Windows 10X for the most part. There's a few things, like I said, um, Edge here is on Edge 82, which isn't out in the stable channel yet, and it's apparently trying to pull down an update on top of that. You know. Um, the Photos app is actually quite nice on Windows 10X if we can get it to launch. Some of this stuff just doesn't, it doesn't even launch. Um, but uh, it, it is pretty cool that, that we can do we can do more stuff. And I almost want to try to use this just, just to work in general. So we can see that the photo... I find, some of this stuff doesn't work and I kind of have to just cut away from it. Um, you can see that the, the way that it expands, right, where we have that, that single pane app and then and then the way it just goes full screen and then that goes to one side and that goes to the other side and that that's how the full screen stuff is supposed to work um eventually this uh photos will start populating here but you know i'm i'm not i'm just not gonna wait for that i'd say the biggest change biggest changes in this build of the windows 10x emulator is one a lot more stuff works dual screen settings still doesn't which 
saddens me. But um, a lot more stuff works works dual screen and um, but also that they're putting a lot of work into uh, Win32 where like I said Notepad Notepad the like the stuff that Notepad does didn't work before. Um, like I said, it was it was windowed, and you could you could not make it uh, dual screen like this. Um, I do worry a little bit about performance. You notice that it, it takes a noticeably longer time to load, which is kind of a problem. But oh well. Um, so that's about it, guys. Um, this is build nineteen five seventy eight, and obviously, um, you know, hopefully uh, every four weeks. I mean, I would think. You know, because the, the cadence actually makes sense unless they go weekly like the Windows Insider program at some point. So um, it's pretty exciting because it's actually a new version of Windows. I think this is the most excitement we've had since, you know, that late 2014, early 2015 era of when we were just finding out about Windows 10. So we're all pretty excited about it. So, you know, stay tuned for the next one, guys. I'm Rich from NeoWin. Have a great night.